Bobby Lawler. Many expected him to be MMA's Mike Tyson until he hit a rough patch in his career. I think he looks a little sloppy. When you're in the fight, it's just when you're thinking about fighting and winning. I think he thinks he's a little better than he is. Both are just youngsters still developing as mixed martial artists. This has fireworks written all over. It's very unusual for Robbie Lawler to be the older guy in the ring. Oh, he's taunting him a bit. Look at this. Wow. He's got the center of the ring. I didn't expect this at all. Not oh, 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 oh. Diaz gets the first right. And look at that. The smile. Oh, a combination. And Diaz took some punishment there. Diaz oh, my. Diaz looks very calm. Oh, combination big right hand. Diaz is rocked. Diaz has come out of this aggressively. Nice. Lawler dancing, straight kick and a missed right. This one has sudden ending written all over it. Wow, I just never expected this. I never expected to see him taunting Bobby like this and standing in front of him with his hands down. That's crazy. I would have thought he would have taken... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, he's oh And he rocks Robbie right. Lawler. Now Lawler is angry. Lawler trying to swing for the fences. Wow. Steve Mazzagotti said no talking. I didn't know that that was a rule. Does Nick Diaz stand in front of Robbie Lawler and play with danger? What's Nick, with the hands up there? What's he's just the hands? faking just... him out, just playing with him. The problem is if Robbie connects, Robbie can put you to sleep. You think you're kicking his ass, but if he rocks you, like here. Yep. A high kick. Diaz slips. Nick Diaz's nose is bleeding. Yep. But Diaz still taking the center of the ring and moving in. Nice combination. Big right hand. A straight right, right is answered. Lawler trying with the combination again. Just missed with the right uppercut. Nick Diaz is moving away. Pretty nice. Fainted him. 20 seconds remains in round one. Oh. High kick. Diaz. <laughs> Unexpected. Unexpected results here. Wow. Whoa. Diaz said that was after the horn. What? Unbelievable. I can't believe this fight hasn't gone to the ground yet. I never expected to see a stand-up battle where Nick Diaz taunting Robbie Lawler and outboxing him. Oh, nice body shot by Robbie Lawler. Nick Diaz is calm in there. And again, that could be because he's got experience. Why did I say that? Robbie Lawler! And it is all over! Robbie Lawler! And it's all over! Nick Diaz has knocked out Robbie Lawler! Robbie doesn't want to accept it. He's still wobbling around the octagon saying he's okay. And Robbie Lawler goes right over and congratulates Nick Diaz. The Militich camp asked for Evan Tanner. Evan was a little insulted. Robbie Lawler always fought prior to tonight in the welterweight division, fighting in the octagon at 185 pounds. Pat Militich told me earlier He's the best Robbie Lawler that we have seen in Robbie Lawler's career. A lot of guts coming up. Taking on a fighter like me, I've got a lot more experience than Let's he does. Let's see if Lawler attempts to swing for the fences. Evan Tanner has a very unorthodox, yeah. crazy-looking style. Evan Tanner working the cornrows. Robbie looks very confident early. Winging in and shooting onto the uh, inside of uh, uh, Robbie Lawler. Tanner caught him a moment ago. Lawler just shakes it off. They clinch for the first time. Robbie Lawler has superior position. He's on the ribs. Tanner has to get his hand back across the body. If they get into a battle with clinches and takedowns, who is the stronger man? And in a Matt Hughes fashion, Robbie Lawler. Robbie, Robbie Lawler's in trouble, folks. What does Tanner have to do to finish right it? Right now, if he just pulls down on the head, if he goes for the head, he's he's trying to get the arm. I don't realize it is all over. Submission victory. He's People gone. Are, he's uh, no longer doubt UFC me. Fighter. Think, um, not gonna be anything in the UFC, and I couldn't wait to uh, prove everyone wrong. But little One of the heaviest hitters in this board. His name is Ruthless Robbie Lola. This is for the World Championship of Icon Sport in the middleweight division. Hang on in the red corner. Six foot one inches tall, winning at 185 pounds. Definitely the biggest fight of your career. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling good. What can we expect? I expect a tough fight. It's going to be a war. Oh, oh what a match of a Suda is down. And this fight. Icon Sport World Champion, Palanico Vitale. They love their Nico in this.
this building. And Nico loves a fight here because he's the most successful here. His last loss of his 12-fight win streak came at the UFC against Matt Lillard. He is the face of Icon Sport right now. Let's get it all! Three rounds, five minutes apiece. Lawler comes attacking with some high left kicks. Lawler definitely on the attack. Nico fighting him off. There's a big leg sweep. Lawler comes in with the left knee. It possibly catches Nico. Nico switches the fight right here. Lawler's feet actually go outside of the ring and onto press table. Nico stands him back up. One thing in Nico's favor, or at least maybe to his credit, is just how calm he has remained here despite Lawler forcing the issue early. Now Nico trying to force the issue. Unable to land on any of those throws. Nico sends Lawler down with a slam. We'll see how good Robbie's off his back. Again, that excellent wrestling. Huge knee as Robbie comes up. Good uppercut that time, sneaking in after the knee by Nico Vital. Yeah. What? Give him a little smirk. There's nice a right hand lead, followed with a left, followed with a series of rights. Nico catches him with the left and throwing blows to the dome of Robbie Lawler. Another one that sends sweat flying into the crowd. Nico is tearing into Lawler. Lawler hits him with a right. There's a big left from Lawler. Looks like he's covered up. Another left got in there from Lawler. Another left followed by a right. What a comeback by Lawler. Exactly. Short guillotine. Oh, oh and a huge body slam. The knee bar. Trying to lock it up. Robbie's trying to get out of the ring. Robbie falling out of the ring. Now Lawler looks like the one who needs to catch his breath a bit. Good right. Another right. A left. And Nico goes down. Robbie Lawler has ended Vitale's run for the title. And now people coming into the ring. Because Hawaiian is crazy. We're crazy. We're going to fight, you know. Us Hawaiians is nuts. Six seconds into round one. Robbie Lawler is now the world middleweight icon sport champ. And you can see the disappointment on the face of Nico Vitale. But Robbie Lawler, what a win for him. Thank you. Talked about his punching power. Jeremy Brown looks to be a little bit winded already here in the first round. Look at his strike. And Robbie just stalking him, waiting to unload that left hand, I believe. Big left high kick, and he lands it. Misses a second one. But that first one had to affect Jeremy Brown. Jeremy Brown showing that he's a tough customer just by getting through that kick without being knocked out. And against the fence. Good punches. The militant fighting system better. Robbie Lawler with a good straight left. And a flying knee jumping up there in the tie clinch. Jeremy Brown looking to wrestle up possibly, but no, Robbie with the arm bar. And he gets the tap right there from Jeremy Brown. He is the current icon sport world middleweight champion, ruthless Robbie. The first fight was epic. Nico had the advantage until Lawler Wait. connected with a knee to the head. Knee and a good right. Another right. Another Let's get it all. Here he comes. Bobby. And now they loosen up grips. Changes uh, stance a little bit. There's an inside kick. A little more than he normally does. Good right by Nico. Followed it with a combination. Lawler on the jab, a little bit on the defensive. Three minutes remaining in round one. And they exchange kicks to the inside of the legs. Looking to save some in the tank, not exhaust so much so early. Chasing Lawler into the corner. There's a right hand. Body blow followed by an up top hit. There's a couple of knees to the face. Knees with the right. Good uppercut. Nico maybe getting some confidence. Starting to close in. Good right hand. Connects to the face of Robbie Lawler. Now to watch out because he grabs and holds. His other hand goes down. See a big hook comes on. Tell little Nico's hands when he's connecting with those punches. Oh, left hook by Robbie just misses the nose of Vitali. Nice good combo by Vitali, oh. but he gets caught by Lawler. Lawler catches him with a heavy right. He throws the combo. Nico's out. And Nico goes down. And Robbie Lawler has won by KO. Throwing bombs his entire career.
puts it on display once again at the blaze deck. This is striker versus grappler. This is the yeah, quintessential match. I just felt like every fight I've been getting stronger. Jason Mayhem Miller. Let's get it all. To throw over a minute into this first round. Put some damage into him. Muller looking as if he's waiting just for that one shot almost. Looks like those leg kicks kind of hurt him too. Miller is much stronger than you would probably give him credit for just looking at him. You know, despite to Nico, it came out like a ball of fire. Being very, very patient. Lawler has yet to throw a punch in this fight. Great training camp with Dan Henderson, of course. He's one of the instructors at the Legends Gym. Bass Rutin. Oh, big right, right hand from Miller and a first counter from Lawler. At the middle of the ring they are. You can hear that one snap off of the body of Lawler. See a little grimace there from Lawler as well. And now some moans and groans, a few scattered boos here. Oh. Commenting on the effort of Robbie Lawler. And there's another inside leg kick from Mayhem Miller. Lawler walks back to his corner smiling. What? Within range if he wants to throw. Now he leads in with a kick. Almost catches Miller. Loser first flat out first using leg kick. That leg kick rocked him back as well. Miller again sweeping in with the right leg. Miller's deceptively strong. Oh, nice. Lawler misses. Miller gets a knee kick in. And goes down to 170. Oh, a couple of good elbows from Lawler. And says bring it. Oh, straight nice. right from Lawler. Ruthless now starting to get into a groove. Mayhem using the kick to fight him off. Mayhem knows he's got a great chin as well. Oh, now nice. Lawler going for a nice kick, kick to the head. Lawler on top of Miller, unleashing some punches. Miller covering up, looking to grab on the ruthless Robbie Lawler. Man, might be playing possum here. Yeah, Lawler oh, might want to be careful, but he's landing a couple of blows. Maybe not. Maybe he's got man hurt. Nice sneak in the head by Lawler. Miller in trouble. At 170 pounds, he took a lot of damage. Let's see if Mayhem can do Lawler's something leg. with this. Let's it go for a second. Lawler back up to his feet and spins out of it. Now they're both back standing up. And Miller's unleashing some flurry of punches. Robbie looks gassed. Lawler clutching onto the ropes. Mayhem takes him down, but here comes the home. And look at Robbie Lawler, slow to get up. Good fight so far. Here's round three, a little trash talking between these two. Miller comes in with a kick and then a punch. Another kick, a haymaker right from Mayhem Miller. Oh, nice, he gets him down. Mayhem on top. Lawler Robbie, with that foot on the rope. He, he's got great control too. Oh, he lands in the mall position. And this is trouble. This spells trouble for Robbie Lawler. Miller has some free hands. Come out from the contender on the champion. Oh, Referee gonna Yuji Shimada is going to bring them back to the middle. And this is going to be the biggest detriment to Robbie Lawler right here because Miller is such a good back hunter. Here it comes. Giving his back. Man's going to try for a head and arm choke. There's the head and arm choke. Gonna sneak his hand around, jump off, and lay for the side. He's got it in. And he holds it. To squeeze. And he finished. Oh, there's, oh, the the tap. there's the tap. Miller is the champ. So I want to get back right in the gym and, and start working out and uh, start working to get better and start training to be a champion. And expect the stand up or is right away. Lawler. There he is, the victor. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. Against Eduardo Pamplona. These two guys are phenomenal strikers. What this is going to be fireworks. You watch. This one is scheduled for five four minute rounds. Oh. And quickly, the big kick doesn't work. And here is the takedown slam. For the guillotine, but he's up. He didn't lock his legs up, so there's nothing there. Wow. Nice throw there. He's got to get up. Oh, good knee. Hips low. Hips low. Pamplona is.
is making his U.S. debut. They say he's one of the best fighters in his weight class yep. that no one in the U.S. has seen. We've seen him work here against the tough Lawler. Fight. Round two underway. It is scheduled for five four-minute rounds. Robbie Lawler against Eduardo Pamplona. Pamplona in the red making his U.S. debut. A five-and-one record. Considered one of the best fighters that no one in the U.S. has seen until now in this IFL super fight. <laughs> A guy lay on the ground. What can a fighter actually do to somebody laying on the ground? Robbie Lawler, he is known for his punching ability out of the Militics camp in Davenport, Iowa. Spinner there, spinning kick won't go by Lawler. He's done some damage. Oh, oh, I would say Robert, and then some. Oh, 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 oh. Lawler is all over him. Oh. That's it. Oh. Robert Lawler has won it, defeating Eduardo Pamplona. Frank Trigger's back. He's a good wrestler, decent stand-up. He's taking a beat. Robbie Lawler was was king of the hill at one time. I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna pound him out. He gets back to his feet. I'm gonna take him back down again and beat him up some more. This fight started off yesterday, essentially the hype with the kiss you heard around the world. Backed up, was not happy about it, as you see right there. Let's being fired up, coming out, because we have seen in the past Lawler coming out, fired up, and maybe not fighting his best. Trigg also saying that this fight will undoubtedly end violently. That's it. And will stand him up. Much to the pleasure of the Bladesdale crowd. They're up and up again. Lawler came with the jab, Trigg with the takedown. Trigg got in deep on that one, finished well. Own records. He's just lying around the house, eating potatoes. Now he says he fights for the love of it. He always said that time, 230 pounds. Nice stand down. Textbook wrestling technique right here by Frank Tree. Nice little sweep by Robin to stand up. And his head's trapped. A lot of knees to the face there from Trigg. And Trigg just working up and down, applying his scheme. some noise, but Trigg right back at him. Oh, it looks like Trigg is, Trigg is switching gears here. Nice switch. Go up top, throw a couple bombs. Welcome to this round one. There's the horn. Very confident he would make that, and he did. Looks like Robbie's getting a little sloppy. This is what Robbie wants to do. Defend those takedowns or chip him out. Nice right now. Riley, the veteran, has been through the oh. Oh, big left press over. It looks like he's trying to roll with at the very brink of exhaustion. Left by Lawler, a right jab, and Trigg still in there with the takedown. Trigg has been taking some great punches by Robbie Lawler, still standing there. Yeah, they should eat their words the way Trigg is eating some of these punches. How about the knee by Trigg? Trigg putting together a little rally. Nice left hand that sneaks into the chin of Trigg. Baller with an uppercut. That uppercut.
uppercut hurt Trigg in the second round. In there continuously. There's the horn. Trigg continues to push and take this fight. Trigg trying on hard right now. Another big left by Lawler. Nice combination there. And Trigg coming back with a combo of his own. This has been the theme. When it appears as though Trigg could take no more, Trigg comes back and delivers some punishment. There's a combo. There it is. This one is over. Again. It's getting the better of the exchange. Taking on Icon Sports top dog in the middleweight division, ruthless Robbie Lawler. Let's get it on! A little bit of respect being shown here. Nice that takes around. And there's the wrestling of Robbie Lawler. Pat Hughes, former UFC welterweight champion in his corner. Who are trying to get back in the game? Ninja being the aggressor standing. He's got to keep his chin down though. Early part of his career Ooh. was leave his chin up. That was a good down right hand by Ninja. He's not really throwing combinations. He's wow. nice right hand. Using an effective jab. Nice combination put together by Robbie Lawler. Watch the left hand over the top. Ninja now pressing the action. You should stay on the boxing exchanges. What do you see? Because what's going to happen, and that, that's going to hurt his leg. What's going to happen is Robbie's going to start thinking about his legs. Just seen a couple of those before. Wanting to put an exclamation point on round number one. I think that first round had a lot of ebb and flow to it because Lawler was stronger at the early part. Single leg pickup, nice escape by Robbie Lawler. Ninja's got to be sure to keep those hands up when they get in close like this. Good right hook by Lawler. Ninja telegraphing nice that draw. shot. Good Beautiful ball. Draw. Really telegraphed that, and he rocks him with an uppercut. That shot came all the way from Curtiva, and Lawler saw it all the way from Iowa. They're throwing caution to the wind here in round number two. Body shot by Hua. Oh, beautiful tactic. For Ninja Hua. Now Lawler pressing Hua to the fence. It looks like Ninja's getting a little bit tired, and it's the wrong time to do that. Especially with 2.30 left in the round. Halfway through this second round. Sustained action. Another elbow by Hua. What we're seeing here is the opposite of Ninja's prediction. He said that Lola was going to run out of gas. I got Ninja getting tired here. Body kick by Hua. Follows it up with the left right. Lawler avoiding most of that attack. Good. Slaps another inside cut kick to Robbie Lawler. Will Robbie Lawler's conditioning last the five rounds? That's always been a question mark, but he does appear to be in tremendous shape. And again, knowing what's at stake. An aggressive game. Oh, great kick. Punch combination by Lawler.
control the distance again. And all good from the bottom left hand. Smith backs up. Lawler. And the jab sets everything up. Lawler's trying to set him up for that uppercut left hook. Lee Lawler. Oh, right. 90 seconds to go on the first round. Can he get out of it? And that's a body where he says, get out of there. A can over. And has a nice body kick. Here's a look at it. Oh, and it, it, right there, you can totally see it. Finger in the eye. Lawler was opening his hand to catch punches. No contest. Ruthless Robbie Lawler retains his middleweight title. We just need to run it back. Lawler Smith, two. First one ending in a no contest when Lawler poked Smith in the eye in the third round. Lawler trying to get in, and he does. Right hook landing on the jaw. He's there's a roundhouse to the body. Oh, a roundhouse block to the head, though. Good distance maker when some guy's running at you to punch. Yeah, Muay Thai, the team is the leg jab. Nice straight left hand by Lawler, and he finishes it up with a body kick. And he's just trying to counter punch with some power. That roundhouse to the head blocked by Scott Smith. Great right hand by Smith, followed by a roundhouse to the head. Straight right hand getting in. Lawler may be in a little trouble. Lawler got hurt with the right hand of steel straight down the pipe. Seeing the ebb and flow here in round one. Again, Lawler going back to the jab. There's that push forward. Left hand missing, right hand grazing. Into the first round, scheduled for five. What? Smith told us in the fighter meetings that he wanted to improve his movement, not so much back and forth, but Lawler aim yeah. mode of attack. Nice yeah, elbow by Scott in. Smith. Although this is where Smith wants to be, and he's damaging him with those elbows. Chopping those elbows down. Now. Ooh, he's got to push through that. He, he, he triples it up. He's got to push through. Just pouring out of the top of the head. And it oh, was Robbie Lawler. It was the Yankee quipper. Yoki Perro said it best, guys. It's deja vu all over again. Nice knee by Robbie Lawler. That's where there needs to be in this clinch game. We're missing knees from here. In the cage, rather. On the cage. I think this is the wrong position to take. Oh, those, those, elbows, knees, those knees hurt him. Those knees hurt him. Smith in trouble. Ground and pound. Lawler. Can he finish him this time? There's another knee. Drops him. Her feet stepping in. It's up. If one of us is going to get knocked out or tapped out, it's going to be a bloody easy fight between the two of us.
but you got to give uh, Shields credit trying to mix it up at least the striking. Okay, don't want to get it deep. He's got it deep. He's got it deep. Robbie's standing up the ball. That means he's got it deep. He's got it deep. He's got it deep. this fight that he was very skilled in jiu-jitsu but uh, as jake said he caught you uh yeah just going back to the drawing board gonna work on my skills and uh keep getting better and start knocking people out again Good matchup. He's very strong. He's a physical fighter. Comes at you trying to take your head off, so it's going to be a good match. But I'm not too worried about his stand up. That's where I'm strong, so we'll see who's strong. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Tom. Thank you, Tom. Wow. Thank you, Tom. Now, he was totally controlling his pace, this action. He was teeing off using vicious angles, uppercuts, body kicks. Oh, man, I'd like to think I could go the whole fight, but, man, he was tearing me up. a bit lower to make me kind of nervous. I like what... Nice. It looks like he is. He could put the clown like that. He wanted to really finish me and knock me out. I just knew that his hands are down when he's looking to finish. Baller looks to be wincing in pain, that lead leg. Oh, just massive shots. Ripping body shots. Three minutes now gone in the opening round. Steven, you said it. He never had was a game plan. He just went out there and tried to blow the guy away. Lawler's noticeably beginning to limp down. Where Robbie up? But he left that hand down and touched that chin. Look at that. He was done. And Manhoff continues overhand. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my God. Robbie Lawler likes a man who been jumps like that. Lawler ends the fight. Just how one-sided this fight was until the impossible happened. And you say shocking! Oh, man, this wow. guy's a killer. Uh, he was coming after me, and I, I, I kept my hands up, and I knew I was going to catch him. I just didn't want to get overextended, and I knew I'd have a chance to catch him. His hands seemed to drop once he goes to finish, guys, and that's what I wanted to wait for. If you look back at all Melvin's fights, when he's coming in and looking to finish, he loads up, and that's... That was my game plan. Ready to fight, so whoever they put in front of me. Former champion Babalu Sabral, a legend ready to reclaim the limelight. Babalu Sabral. 195 pound catchweight special attraction, ruthless Robbie Lawler. Let's get it all. From Salt stance. Nice defense. Good job getting his hips back. You see how he's blocking the hips out from Sabral. And Big John McCarthy, along with Herb Dean, two of the very best in the business, overseeing the action and much to the fans' delight. They separate him, and Babalu's backed up with that straight left. And there's Sobral shooting in for the takedown and secures it on a Lawler. His first takedown of the fight, and now it's Sobral going for that guillotine. And we remember Lawler losing via guillotine choke to Jake Shields. Nice limp arm out of that takedown attempt by Lawler. Final 20 seconds. Are you satisfied with what you've seen thus far? Oh, and a quick exchange from both fighters here in the opening round, and we're also throwing things to Susanna. A couple chokes, a Darce choke and a guillotine, but Robbie escaped and got back to his feet. You know what? I think it was very even. It could have gone either way, but you can see Lawler's pressing the pace right now. Straight left, and so Brawl goes for the single leg, dives in, good defense right now. Look at the balance by Lawler. Busy with the left uppercut. Nicely done. So Brawl's face beginning to swell up. He swings wildly with his left, beginning to taste the power of Robbie Lawler's hands are down with the way Robbie Lawler's holding his hands. And there Inside leg kick, another kick to the body by Sobral. Oh, nice right hand. There's a vicious right from Lawler as well. And a knee by oh, Sobral. Nice knee. The crowd cheering Babalu's name. We are in his backyard. He owns a gym in the area. Lawler versus Sobral is headed to round three. Sobral looking for the single leg. 
lets it go. And there it is, a veteran move, Pat. He knew it wasn't there, let it go, deliver the shot. Oh, nice left hand by Lawler. Brutal uppercut set up by the hook. Sabral continues to circle to his left, out of the, away from the power of Robbie Lawler, and he's crisp, and he's putting combinations together. Lawler's hands are really low. Sabral spinning back fist block by Lawler. Let's let Babalu escape off of the cage. Oh, high head kick from Lawler, and a straight right followed up by the left, but Sabral doing a good job to avoid it. And now to Sabral, but Babalu, body wow. shot by Sabral, another kick to the belly, and you got to wonder how much is left in the gas tank here of Lawler, and you say he may be playing, but I wonder. Here it comes, here it comes. Yeah, he's going to have to go in there. He's getting ready to unload. What's the deliver that left haymaker? Sobral What's coming here? forward. Lawler, Sobral oh. is over. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about the same, 29 to 28, in favor of the winner. Renato Babalu Sobral. Congratulations on a great fight, Robbie. Yeah. Now, this was a catchweight bout. Your usual home is middleweight. Ronaldo Jacare Souza. Is that someone you have in your sights? Cream of the crop. Uh, one of the best at 185. Uh, up and coming guy. Who, not a lot of people know who he is, but uh, he's really tough and game opponent. Look at Robbie Lawler's face. The anger, the fury is turning in his mind right now. He's ramping it up. He is now the Strike Force World Middleweight Champion, Jacare Souza. champion in the red gloves, the challenger in the blue. I've never seen him so tight. They just move him. Watches an attack on Souza. Wow. And Souza with the takedown on Lawler. If there is one area where Lawler is suspect, it is the submissions. Majority of his losses have come via submission. He is not to panic. Yeah. Watch out for the guillotine right here. Uh, and that's how Arm he said. Lawler, good job on hand control. Got out of there. And Lawler able to separate back up on his feet, so he survives his first test. Right hand from Souza. Lawler with the tie clinch and a knee strike. Happy to engage Lawler in a small. It's I think hurt. Souza's hurt. That's Head kick from Lawler. Souza's on roller skates. Wow. Lawler going in for the kill. Robbie Lawler has Souza on his back. Well, we got to be careful here. Don't get greedy. You don't want to hang out on the ground with a guy like Jacare. Five five minute rounds for the Strike Force Middleweight Championship, and referee Big John McCarthy may be giving Robbie Lawler. And there's a Ooh, kick, kick from Lawler, the liver kick. Oh. A shout out to Wapo Boss Rude for that one. Lawler sprawls. <laughs> Gotta get off the cage here. Lawler again tries to sprawl. Now looks oh. for the takedown, scoops him up, and drops Lawler to the canvas. Very sneaky by Jacques Ray. Robbie's got a boy, he's got to get him off his chest. Souza looking to his corner from some advice and now looking to go to Mount. Nicely done by Lawler, but he's now getting tagged with some strikes from Jacare. There it is. Armbar. Giving up his back. Jacare going for the arm. Wow. Looking for the arm bar. Lawler, Lawler got it out. Happy Lawler running down the submission chains. Armbar again. again. Going for that arm bar. It's Jacare Souza final. Flip over. Second. He's got to flip over. Keep running. Beautiful. <laughs> Equivalent of ball control in football, right, Moro? You better believe it. Well, he's got to get back on that bicycle like he was before. And there's the tie plum from Souza. Lost doing a good job of turning into them, but now it's Souza going for the single leg. Lawler's got to get wrist control here. Power his leg out of that single. Knee. Souza changes levels. Lawler tries to defend, but. I like how Lawler just turns his body sideways or his forearm a little bit and just sort of stops that forward progress. Knee right to the ribcage by Souza. Oh, nicely done by Souza. Now he's got Lawler's back. And
and this could be dangerous. Gets the one hook in, gets the other hook in. And Lawler now has to try to defend the Mataleon. Souza's 10th submission wins have come via rear naked choke. Make it three. Jacare Souza retains the Strike Force Middleweight Championship via 11th career submission. Robbie, this is a fight that just got made you know, a month or so ago, but it's been kind of talked about for a while now. Tim Kennedy and ruthless Robbie Lawler. Is this a fight that you look forward to for a while? Not really. Uh... I, I've wanted this fight for for a while. You know, he's he, you know, he he's been a star for you know as long as I've been fighting, and uh, you know, being able to fight somebody with with his name recognition and um, his skill it, is is something that I'm you know humbled and honored to be to be part of. Tim Kennedy took this fight on short notice. Is never out of shape. He spent the past four weeks in full training with mode. a record of 13 wins, three losses. From Austin, Texas, please welcome the decorated U.S. Army Green Beret. He's 4-1 in his last five fights. Let's get it on! Kennedy's 13 wins have come inside the distance. Nice sprawl by Lawler to escape that takedown attempt. Lawler, as you mentioned, known as a big striker, but he has a great wrestling background. It looks like he's been training in it because those hits are fast. Forcing Kennedy to shoot really far because he doesn't know where the punches and strikes are coming from. Defense has been Lawler's Achilles heel. Nice scrambling here by Ruthless One on the bottom. Gets to his knees. And he used it to switch around to his back. The last two times Lawler has lost via submission have been via form of choke. In his last outing against Sousa, the rear naked choke, and of course, Jake Shields. Even though, again, he's one of those guys who only tagged him with the left hand. Four weeks. That's not a lot of time to develop a strategy, implement it, and then train your body to react to it. Takedown defense. What? And Kennedy puts him in for the submission hole. Kennedy shooting again. Raw sprawling, getting to his feet. Matt scrambled for positioning. And he watched the pass. Half guard, but Lawler very good off his back. Kennedy sitting up. Round and pound. Lawler fighting back. Kennedy now. Punches and bunches with ooh, Kennedy in top position. Posturing up now. Nice right hand. Kennedy going to the body with the hammer fist. Nice elbow by Robbie Lawler. Coming to the end of the second round. And Tim Kennedy. What? Flying knee. Fans who enjoyed the action for the first two rounds starting to get restless. Robbie Lawler. He can let those hands go at any time as Kennedy now closes the gap tie. Plum and the knee and drops a level looking for the takedown and gets it. Grinding away with elbow strikes as well. The winner, Tim Kennedy. Ruthless Robbie Lawler has gone through a bit of a tough stretch, losing three of his last four fights. Let's go to the tail of the tape for this middleweight matchup. face and look to bomb on him.
have the time of one minute, 48 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Steve Mazagati, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, ruthless Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler in the red gloves, Lorenz Larkin in the blue. Cutting elbows. Larkin working the overhook on the oh, yes. and There's some quick strikes, a knee from Larkin. The flashy striker putting some of that on display. Oh, uppercut. Leads with an uppercut by Larkin. A slashing elbow strike. Lawler not really throwing much in terms of offense here. There's a knee. Brought Lawler off his feet momentarily. performance by Larkin. All three in favor of the winner and still undefeated Lawrence Larkin. Few believed in him anymore. He was actually starting to become an afterthought. Then something changed along the way. First, the UFC absorbed his contract from Strikeforce. Then, he decided to drop down Back to the UFC fighting Josh Koscheck and felt like it was like, all right, everyone, I'm here. Almost 10 years since you last fought in the UFC, UFC 50. Talk about uh, coming back. I just had some rough times. I was, it was a learning experience. I was a young kid uh, fighting the best in the world. I was out there searching. I was enjoying fighting, but I just wanted to fight. Just come in here and fight. I didn't want to do the PR. I didn't want to talk to the media. I didn't really care if anyone knew what I was up to. I just want to enjoy myself and fight and compete and go and hide and play video games after. Koscheck, Lawler, the southpaw. Koscheck looking for the takedown here. He gets it. All of his fights in the UFC, other than the battle with Evan Tanner, were at 170. Trying for the trip with over under control. Nasty knee to the body by Lawler. And another one. And a, Lawler's on top here, sprawling. Lands a punch. Let's see if he can get some distance. Oh, big punch. Oh! And Joe looking to finish it. It is all over. Robbie Lawler victorious in his UFC return. It was awesome coming back. Uh, the, the whole week was amazing. Uh, it was awesome to work with the UFC. Still very strong at 170. 
Bobby Lawler defines being a fighter who looks for the finish. He has not won a fight by decision in nearly 10 years. All of his wins coming by way of knockout or submission. You know what to look for tomorrow night. No welterweight division. Ruthless Robbie Lawler versus Fisher Bobby Volker. I'm in love with fighting. It's like, you know, you can't take my air away. You know, I'll die. You can't, you can't take my fight in a way. I feel like I die. This fight on Fox is a big fight for me. It's going to show where I'm going and where I'm headed. Vicious Bobby okay, Volker. Ready, you ready? Let's get it all. And here we go. Five of those in the octagon. Nice knee. That was kicked to the body by Lawler. Nicely done. Very nice combination. Yeah, big uppercut. With the uppercut. Both men really explosive with their punches. A lot of movement here by Lawler. Another Again, head, the head kick. kick. Even if you block those, those are damaging. Nice Flying flying knee. knee. Beautiful. Significant strikes so far. Two to one for Lawler. Good combination by Lawler. Volker has to get Robbie Lawler's respect. Or Lawler's going to tee off on him like this. Something to get Robbie thinking. Because Robbie right now, again. oh man, he's just sizing him up. Flying again, knee. Flying knee. Lawler looks outstanding right now. This is as good as he's ever looked. What? As polished as we've ever seen Robbie Lawler. His timing is outstanding. A little slip. I know what I'm capable of, and Bobby's getting hurt. Showing angles, footwork, light on his feet. Everything was perfect tonight. Just a great A+. Plus. The, the, the difference between Robbie Lawler now and Robbie Lawler then in the old days was a completely different person. He was just like, meh, I don't care. He didn't care about anything. Now he cares. He's just mentally and physically a completely different person. So this last part, what Dana just said is interesting because when you look up what happened to Robbie Lawler, there was nothing really official ever put out. He just kind of got released. But if you put it together with this other video that I found when I was doing all the research for this video that I'm watching now, I think the reason that he got released was because he was it wasn't being professional or something having to do with him and how he handled the media. I'm not sure what it was, but I think if you look at what Dana just said and what he says in this next video, I think that's why. Check it out. I just wasn't ready for the spotlight and my skills weren't where they needed to be to be a champion. A UFC fighter, you have to do more than just uh, beat people up and be exciting when you fight. You have to let fans know who you are and I'm ready to do that now. Robbie Lawler at 170 pounds is a very, very dangerous and explosive fighter. Left the UFC a while ago, went to strike force, and had mixed results at 185 pounds, but somewhere along the line found his maturity as a fighter. Rory McDonald. I think it's a good fight for me. And, uh, you know, he's a very tough guy. He's been around for a very long time. I've been watching him since I was, I was just a little kid, you know, so. He's another one of those guys that, you know, I, I watched growing up that I get to fight, you know, so it's, a, it's an honor and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It will be a very dominating performance. You know, I think uh, I'll, I'll be able to shut him down in every field of MMA. I feel like a killer. Rushing through my thoughts all the time. Do you feel... No, I'm emotional. I don't care. If you looked at my past fights and my record, I'm a finisher. I kill it. Weird to feel it all the time, though. But I'm not fighting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down. Kill it. <laughs> I'm better than Robbie. It's going to show fight night. I'm going to win. have called him the Canadian psycho. That's not an act, though. You know what I mean? I mean, some guys can play psycho. Rory McDonald is psycho. <laughs> Get it off. Rory McDonald is about seven seconds away of being perfect. Carlos Condit finished him late in Vancouver. Look how good Rory's distance is. I mean, backed up calmly one inch away from those punches and then landed that counter right hand and that kick. If Rory was going to counter him, it would be with the right hand as he comes forward. If he catches him hopping and sees it coming. He dedicated his life to MMA at age 14 back in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Is not having any success with anything else. Robbie slips. 
as they fight here, orthodox to southpaw, it opens up the hard inside leg kick for the southpaw fighter and for the orthodox fighter. And Rory McDonald has good utilization of the jab as well. Let's see if he starts to try to use it more often here against Lawler. Against the southpaw, he goes with the kick. 12 finishes and 15 career wins for McDonald. There's that type of fighter. Head kick by yeah, Lawler. That he might Big hit punches once by Lawler. Over. He tagged Rory. Yep. In the final seconds of the round. Rory with the shot. He's got the single. And Robbie tagged him a couple of times with a kick by Rory. Robbie's like light tapping him with that that switch kick now, which is to set up the left hand. Good straight right by Rory. And a head kick. Head kick. And he spins off away from the cage. I mean, he lived on his own while he was completing high school, so they could train every day. And Roy McDonald's step. Bobby slipped that punch and got caught with that kick, though. And a good straight right. Takedown. Beautiful takedown by Rory. Robbie nice landed some hard from shots from the bottom. Now he does. Good elbows. And Lawler's not doing it. Just missed with that one. Slicing elbow. Good defense, though, on his back by Lawler. What? In the third, Robbie Lawler is the one in desperation. Moment. He tagged him. Fires early. He tagged him with an uppercut as well. He might have Rory hurt. Lawler again. Trying to swarm on top position now. And he pushes up. Yeah, yeah he wants it right back up. up. Let's go. Contrasting styles. Nice job Robbie by Lawler, Lawler tagged again. Him again. Beautiful That's take the first down. single. Can he finish it? Awesome timing on that takedown. Awesome Robbie takedown right defense by feet. Robbie Lawler. Lawler again connects. Oh! Knocks him down with a combination. Looking to finish this fight. 18 career wins by knockout. And Rory has an excellent guard. Robbie Gotta has to be look careful. out. And he's up. Take down McDonald. Big elbows by McDonald. Lawler trying to protect himself. Oh. Wow. What, a, what fight. a fight. And he was cut by the UFC and went in one in other organizations. Has returned impressively. And tonight put on a great show against that young man, Rory McDonald. A ton of damage done by Robbie Lawler. In the third round before Rory finished strong. The winner by split decision, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. I rode up and down, but I kept getting up and kept pushing forward. You obviously seen him, you know about him. Johnny's really tough. He's powerful, he's a strong wrestler, and he has knockout power. I really haven't... Uh, had anyone with his uh, abilities yet. Johnny Hendricks had a fantastic fight with George St. Pierre. Another one! Oh my goodness! George is in big, big trouble here! He put one of the biggest beatings on George St. Pierre we've ever though. seen. And still! The undisputed happy... The fight that a lot of people felt Johnny Hendricks won. George was done. The UFC and welterweight poster boy George St. Pierre made a surprising announcement on Friday the 13th. The French Canadian will be stepping aside from mixed martial arts competition for the time being and has agreed to relinquish his 170 pound belt. With Dana and Lorenzo uh, about it, um, been fighting for a long time. Uh, and I uh, had 20, 22 fights in UFC, 15 of my fights for a world title. Uh, I've been fighting a very long time for a high level. Uh, a lot of, uh, it's a lot of pressure, a lot of criticism. Uh, um, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I decided uh, I decide that I need, to, I need to take uh, time off. And uh, I know the UFC is a business and uh, they, have, they have to keep things rolling. So I have a backup to my title. I need a break, and one day... This day will be better, that day will be better, this is the day. Mental stability. I think we should probably do, like, if George takes off for a half a year or a year, 
Hendricks and I fight for like an interim title, and when George comes back, I'll beat him up too. I put myself in a situation that if GSP steps down, that I'm right there at the top. Fighting's what I've done my whole life, and now it's my time. That's why I got in this from the very get-go. Isn't that why we do it? To do the unthinkable? Just like that, Johnny Hendricks! This is a very, very intriguing matchup, and a matchup for all the marbles. Johnny Hendricks came into the fight with an already torn bicep. You know, we sort of block it out of the mind, say it is what it is, 10 days before a fight. It can't pull out. Good luck for both I've been hurt in fights. I've been hurt going into fights. I can't wait to get into the octagon. Here we go! Two best fighters in the world at 170 pounds. What a battle! Hendricks with the lead and total strikes landed. I stayed toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That's his bread and butter. That is crisp striking from Johnny Hendricks. Come out and showcase uh, what I'm capable of. And he got hurt. Hendricks trying to survive right here. You know, I sort of had to dig deep, you know, stay on my feet. Because with one arm, I was pretty much screwed. Hendricks is in trouble, and now Hendricks goes for the takedown. Robbie has stopped five of five takedown attempts. Good left hand by Hendricks, and another one. And Robbie's smiling at him. Oh, man, they are winging at each other. Huge takedown for Johnny Hendricks. And that's the competitor in him. Knowing that that's the move right there to secure this round. 40 seconds to go. Robbie just looked up at the clock and he looks disappointed. He's shaking his head. Gets the biggest takedown of his life. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Johnny Big Rig Hendricks! I promise you I'll be facing him again. Coming for that title.